To Australia's north, west and east, there's 8,000 kilometres of very active tectonic plate boundaries. In fact, one third of all the world's earthquakes occur along these boundaries, making the area the most likely source of tsunamis that could impact Australia. They're capable of generating a tsunami that could reach the mainland in two to four hours. Northwest Australia has had more tsunami events than any other region in Australia, and they were caused by earthquakes off the coast of Indonesia. However, there aren't many people in the area, so the risk of a disaster is relatively low. The east coast of Australia is susceptible to tsunamis created by earthquakes in the Kermadec or Pisica trenches, which are to the north and south of New Zealand. If an earthquake is strong enough, Lord Howe and Norfolk Islands, as well as parts of the highly populated eastern seaboard of Australia, may be inundated by tsunami waves. Other coastal areas could also experience the dangerous rips and currents of a marine tsunami. This scenario presents a higher disaster risk for Australia than a tsunami in the northwest of Australia. The Joint Australian Tsunami Warning Centre is the authority for tsunami warnings in Australia. If there's a tsunami, we issue advice and warnings to the Australian public.